It's an atmosphere of excitement at the Alex Ekwemi Square in Orca, the Anambra State Capital, as the people gather to ensure a smooth takeoff of the 2021 farming season. <laughs> Governor Willy Obiano moves around the arena, congratulating farmers displaying various food crops and seedlings for this year's planting season. This year comes with additional benefits for youths, as 1,000 of them have been chosen from the three senatorial zones to receive training in mechanized farming and agro-business. I wish to inform that about 1,000 youths drawn from three senatorial districts will be engaged in life production in the over 1,000 hectares of land developed at Kuti Kenyong in Oruba North and Obo Abakwa in Owaru local government areas under the CBMA death scheme. The flag off of the 2021 farming season is a parting gift to Anambra farmers from Governor Willy Obiano, whose second term ends later this year. Governor Obiano says he's satisfied with his achievements in the sector. When we came in rice, the was uh, very poultry, but now uh, rice per acre, we, you can get up to 12 tons on one acre. Before, it used to be about four, four, uh, four tons per acre. Because Farm inputs including rice, okra and tomato seeds, as well as animal feed for sheep and goat rarers, are distributed. Anambra State is doing very, very well so far in, uh, in agriculture. So many youths are doing very well in rice production, in uh, poultry production, in fish production. And um, most of them are here displaying their produce. And we are happy for that. The governor makes it clear that his administration has consistently promoted three ideas in agricultural practice, which include sustainability, ability to protect the environment, and improvement of economic opportunities, ideas that he believes will be of long benefit to the people in the years to come.